Hello and welcome to this Affinity Photo iPad tutorial which is a beginner's guide part 5 and we'll be looking at the Asset Studio and how to use it. Now I've just got in the Black Friday sale at Serif some brushes, images, styles and assets. I got them mainly for my PC version of Affinity Photo but once I've brought them I can also download them into my iPad version as well. Now to start off I will just make a new document which will be A4 with a transparent background. If I then tap and hold the question mark icon in the bottom right corner it will display the names of the icons on the interface and the Asset Studio is the third one up from the bottom on the right. Once it has been opened you will see that the last category I used is displayed and that is the part of the Mystical Lights set which I downloaded from my Serif account. So I will just return to the home page then in the top right corner of the home page is the icon to access my Serif account and from the list of items I have brought for my PC version I can download and install automatically into the iPad version of Affinity Photo. The new items I have just brought are the lightning brushes, smoke brushes and shadow overlays. It is the overlays that will be added to the iPad as assets. Items that have ticks next to them I have already downloaded to the iPad and those with the cloud icons are those yet to be added to the iPad if I do want to install them at all that is. I am looking for the shadow overlay entry so I can click on the cloud icon and start the download and install process. Once it has finished downloading and installing I can either download some more items or click on the close button and return to the home page. From the home page I will return to the blank, blank document I started earlier. I will then just check that the new assets category has been added. So I can then once the studio is open I can either use the left and right arrows next to the category names to scroll through the different categories or I can tap and hold on the category name and then swipe left and down to open up the list menu from which I can select the category I want to use which in this case is the shadow overlays once I have checked that the overlays are in the assets I need an image to add one and two to test they are working ok so I will open up the, a stock photo and will search for table and then select an image to use and then clip it to the canvas once I have the table image in position where I want it, I will open the Asset Studio and select and drag onto the image one of the shadow overlays. Then close the studio and then resize and reposition the shadow to where I want it. To do this I will use the move tool. I'm getting used to the iPad at the moment and it takes me a while to get the overlay just where I want it. Now 
you are not restricted to what can be in the assets studio to just what serif have made for you you can make your own as well or even download some I made a category called trees and have in there two images I got from Pixabay via the stock studio I will drag and drop one of these onto the table image I know they don't go together but it does show that you can make your own and use your own assets I will just remove all the layers from this document to show how to add your own images to the assets studio First I will open the Asset Studio and then select the free lined icon at the top of the studio to open the menu options. I will select Add Category which by default will be called Unnamed. If you select the menu icon again you can select Rename Category and give it a name you want. I'm going to call mine dogs. I now need a dog image so again I will open the stock studio and search Pixabay for dog images. After I have dragged a dog image to my document and snapped it to the canvas, I then opened up the Assets Studio again. Now I could be wrong here, but I'm fairly certain you cannot add files direct to the category. You need to add subcategories. So once tapping on the menu icon again, I selected add subcategory this subcategory by default will be called assets which you can also rename to the right of the name assets is another menu icon if you tap on this you can select rename subcategory I rename mine photos Then from the menu icon to the right of the subcategory name, I selected Add Assets from Selection. This will add the image file that I had open to the subcategory for future use. What if I don't want photos, just want photos of dogs? What if I want to find drawings of dogs or draw my own? I will need another subcategory called drawings. So I use the main menu icon to make another subcategory and then the new category's own menus to rename it. Then all I need to do in future is to use the correct subcategory submenu icon to add either photos or drawings to the correct subcategory. I then once more opened the layer studio and deleted the image to leave myself with a blank document. I opened again the asset studio. I now want to show you how to export or save your new category to back them up in case you ever have to reinstall Affinity Photo. Plus I will also show you how to import a new category as well. Now if like me you have either a PC or a Mac version of Affinity Photo you can make asset categories far quicker and easier and that is just my opinion um, and then 
on the PC or Mac and then import them into the iPad version. You can also import other people's asset categories which you have downloaded from places like Facebook um, in Facebook groups for Affinity Photo they have file sections and some people upload assets and other files into those sections or you can also use the serif forums or you can share them with your your mates by email and things like that so if you want to make your own you could for example like I said email them to yourself and then open them up on your iPad if you have an email service on your iPad the easiest idea really though might be to use a cloud service now I believe that all iPad users will have a small amount of iCloud storage space I think it comes part of being sort of an, having an Apple account you can then place files there from your PC or Mac and then download it from iCloud I have done just that and I've left in my iCloud account an asset file where I have some logos and I will download download those a bit later but first how to export this dog category that I've made so from the main menu in the asset studio I selected export category once on the export screen you can select where to save the category either to the iPad itself or to iCloud and I assume you can add other cloud services to this screen and then upload or download from there next I want to show you how to add an asset by importing them so from the asset studios main menu I selected import category I then navigated to the .af assets file that I have saved I selected it and in my case it's this logo category once it finished downloaded it will automatically be added to the asset studio ready for use so all I need now is an image to add that logo to so I will return to the home page and open one of my own images I then just need to open the asset studio drag out a logo that I want to use and then resize it and reposition it where I might want it to go so that's pretty much it with my look at the asset studio so you can make your own assets download them you can import them and you can export them to share with others or just to back them up I think that any sort of image file can be an asset although I would imagine they will pretty much all be JPEGs or PNG files to save space on the iPad it might be best to just keep the ones that you want to use a lot like logos for example and the other categories you can import them from your backup when you need them and then just delete them from the iPad until you need them again because you have them backed up you can just import them as and when you want them so that's pretty much it the end of this tutorial so thank you for watching and goodbye